so have you ever faced a problem with dynamic memory allocation like once you create the dynamic memory maybe sometime you create more or maybe sometime you create less so then what you do i mean you have to create another dynamic memory and copy that previous data correct but wait a minute you don't have to do that because there is a function called realloc will actually do that so let me go through this quickly we have this malloc and yeah after that we'll discuss all these points okay so first of all we have this malloc creating two integer size memory and we are assigning that initial pointer to this ptr and zeroth memory is storing one and first memory is storing two now after doing this operation i realize that oh i created it less i wanted to store four memories i mean four data and this is looking silly but when you are actually dealing with the networks and dynamic stuff where your data can come at any time and it can grow and shrink then in that case you would really feel that this is required so as i said this pointer is of two integer size so i stored these two later i realized that i needed four size so see now this is the syntax syntax is we have realloc will pass the pointer what pointer we want to modify or the copy the data from and then it will return you the newly created pointer see we'll have it we have realloc i wanted to copy this ptr data into newly created pointer because as i said i want to retain these two values and have extra two blocks so this is the case okay so this will do that job it will dynamically create four blocks of integer size and then copy these two data into that and rest two data are like undefined you don't know you may get something so new pointer will be assigned here and this new pointer can be old pointer i mean it's like implementation dependent but the point is you will have new pointer storing these two values with two extra space so you had ptr which was actually holding two blocks okay 0 and 1 now you called realloc and you passed this ptr and size as 4 now this will give you a new ptr and ptr which will hold exactly this 1 and 2 and this and this is like question mark you don't know what you may get okay because this is not defined so your returned pointer is this one after copying this and this into this and this so you don't have to do this whole thing by yourself this realloc can do that and now you must be asking like what happens to this ptr yes this will automatically delete also and not only this let's suppose your original ptr was like maybe 0 to let's say 9 so it's like 10 elements right total of 10 elements but in new size in new size i can give lesser size maybe i can give 5 so in that case it will still go ahead and create this new pointer but that new pointer as i have asked will have only 5 blocks and initial 5 blocks will be copied into this okay like this and then this pointer will be freed so you can actually grow or shrink both are possible and let me go through this whole thing and then we'll wind up so first is it can be used to grow or shrink the dynamically created memory which is created by alloc calloc or realloc itself so this will only work on dynamically created memories and second point is it copies content of old pointer to new pointer then deallocates the old pointer we know that if new pointer cannot be created then returns null and don't delete the old pointer so this is very important listen this very carefully if new pointer cannot be created in what cases it cannot be created let's suppose you are asking a very big pointer maybe this when you are asking for realloc that time you give pointer here but then here you are giving a very big size which cannot be accommodated then it will return null okay so always remember to check if you really got a pointer or a null and if ptr is null then it behaves like malloc and yeah this is the syntax if you are passing here null then in that case it will create this much big size of memory and it will return to you so in that case it will behave like 
a malloc and if success it returns pointer to the beginning of the newly created memory we know that and if new size is zero then behavior is undefined and yeah we forgot about this one right so what if you give this as zero because you can give this pointer and you can say that i want to push this into some newly created pointers but if you give the size zero then what then the behavior is undefined it can do anything so that's all i will just quickly run this so see what i did i created two memory initialize them and then i'm asking that dude change this and make it four and then i'm printing these four just to check that it really copied these two into newly created pointers or not let's check that so if we'll run this see one and two and then rest two are zero and zero so don't consider that this will always be zero this is not defined okay and one and very important last point i mean if you stayed till this time meaning you deserve something good so let me tell you this that you can do this as well so you don't have to do a new ptr again and again and again you can store that into this older ptr itself because let's suppose you are doing this for maybe 10 15 times then you don't have to write this new ptr1 new ptr2 or stuff like that so you can still always use the same old ptr because it's just going to hold the new pointer i mean newly created or newly dynamically created pointer and this older one what it had from here is already deallocated cool right you don't have to do much and this api is doing everything for you so with this thanks for watching guys bye bye take care